Hi, welcome to the Deck Network. I'm your host, Mike Danzolio, and today we have Sean from Curve Your Deck. Sean, how are you doing? Good. Glad to be here, Mike. Okay, so let's jump in on this one. Sean is introducing a new part to Curve Your Deck. Sean, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Well, what it is, Mike, is it's a prefabbed frame, railing, and, cur and decking for an eight-foot radius. So I can actually send the, the contractor or the homeowner their parts, and they can, they can just build a deck nonstop. Yeah, and, and what, what was the issue? How was it done before? Well, before, what people would have to do is they'd have to frame it out, make a template, and send it to me, and then I'd, I'd make the decking and make the railing and or railing for them. Now, I'm, I got the whole complete package. It's like if you want to get, if you want a curved deck, uh, the, I'll send you either six foot or eight foot decking and railing and the framing to go with it. Yeah, so you can get it done seamlessly without having to stop make a template, just mail it to Sean. Sometimes that could take a few weeks depending upon how busy he is. Yeah, but, deck uh, season is upon us. Okay, well let's uh, let's show you this piece, of, let's show you the, uh, the part. But right, here's the part. We tried to take a picture of it and it, was, it wasn't picture friendly. So, it just didn't do it justice. Yeah, so Sean, tell us what we have here. What we have here is we have a five half inch, half inch piece of plywood laminated together and curved to an eight foot radius, pre-made, pre-fabricated. Takes all the guesswork out of it. Right, so we've been experimenting with that for a little while, trying to figure out how to get that to work properly. And uh, uh, once again, it, it was a learning curve. Yeah, well, it was a, <laughs> our, our research and development section over here at Curve Your Deck. We spent some time working on that. So I made some sketches on this, which are on the uh, Curve Your Deck website. So Sean, why don't you explain a little bit about what this is? Well, what we got here is a, a drawing which has your bit, your 2x10 beam underneath, and this is actually a 7 foot 10 radius going to the outside of the frame. And with that, the reason why it's 7 foot 10 is because your actual true 8 foot would be the outside of the decking with your reveal. And that gives you room for your fascia board, everything, and it makes it look beautiful. Okay, you can see we have the footings here with a beam underneath holding it up. And we made it in two different sizes. And uh, Sean, why don't you tell us why we did it like that? Well, we did we, because different size decks require a different size curve. If you've only got a 12 by 12 deck, you don't need an eight foot radius, eight foot long curve on your deck. It takes away too much of the square footage, unless that's what you want, of course. <laughs> now, then again, if you have a 16 by 20 deck, the eight foot railing and decking would be awesome. Okay, so we made these at a pre-made eight foot radius, and that's about the tightest that we can make it without having any problems on the uh, on the curve. So we'll show you that in a, in a little bit and why we have to do it that way. Okay, here's a deck that uh, Sean made the curves for last year over here on Long Island, and this deck is just is just beautiful. I would have suggested that they cut these uh, 42 inch. Uh, sleeves a little yeah, shorter. a little bit shorter. But, but uh, it all the, depends upon what you want. Yeah, other than that, it looks real good. And he also, there's a curved set of stairs, which is, this is just a beautiful deck. First of all, let's take a look at the deck here at my showroom. If I can find it here. It's, it's actually right outside. It's outside uh, this Deck Network studio right here. Yeah, it's right here. So, we made this one over the winter. And we actually, we've been making these parts for a while now and we since we've never we don't build these things we don't really see what the problems are so Sean why don't you show us what a problem is that we had to uh, well, rectify well what it is is uh, having the the corner post here square with the outside of the frame made it where you had an extreme miter on the railing up here and it made it, it makes it very difficult to get that cut correctly and as you can see the railing is actually, the cut is going beyond the sides of the post here. And so that doesn't really look that good. Uh, by twisting the post a little bit, you have a, a lot less of a miter on the curve rail. And it's just a small miter on the straight rail. And it makes it, the, the effect is just so much nicer. On these TimberTech Radiance rails, in between the beads on the corners of the 4x4 or the 5x5 five five posts, it's wide enough to accept a railing with a 45 degree angle on it. Now this is probably close to 65 degrees. That's why it encroaches upon the bead so it doesn't look that great. So in the sketches that we have, we show it with the with the post. The, the posts are inside the curve. Now the th what you want to do is you want to have the corner of your post line up 
with the side of the post back on the straight side. That way you don't end up having your rail go back yeah. and forth at angles and you know keeps it nice and straight. And then at the same time, it's allowing you to have a much le less of a um, miter on your curved rail. Yeah, so you can almost have a little, have it on one side and one, you can cut it in half or what we call bisecting the angle. It's not going to be equal though. So let's, um, let's get ready. We made a frame. All right, so we have a frame here, and this is just a basic square or rectangle. And notice we have the doubles on it now. This is just for illustration purposes, because if we were building this deck from scratch, we wouldn't put the doubles on until we've attached the curved, uh, laminated, treated plywood part. So this is what it looks like at a square or a rectangle. Then you add on the laminated part with the pre-made eight-foot radius on it. And then, the, then you can scribe your frame and it also lets you know where you have to place your beam to support the deck. Yes, yeah, so you wouldn't use, you wouldn't put joist hangers on this on your, because it's never, it's, although it's strong enough, it's laminated plywood because we always know that that's stronger than uh, a 2 by 8 but it, we, it's not engineered, so we're just not even going to go down that path. So it's easier to put a beam underneath, and you can see from the next photo, we have the beam underneath here, we have our hurricane ties. The curved radius on here. These four by four posts, of course, they're blocked in, but they're inside the curve. Very important. It comes you, out a lot. You better. notice that the corner of this post is right there at the corner of the straight frame. That's making sure your rail is going to be straight all the way down the side of the deck. All right, and you can buy these any way that you'd like. If you, whether you just want the curved railing with the laminated plywood part. And in a lot of cases, people would like the, uh, would have a single border or a double border or a triple border, and depending upon what they're trying to do. Sometimes I've seen it with different colors. I've seen the triple borders with a lighter color on the outside, a darker color on the border, matching the inside. You can do all sorts of different things. It all with depends that. upon what kind of a finished effect you want when, you're, when, the, when the job's completed. And when it's finished, it looks, it looks like that. So we have them in six foot and eight foot lengths. It's, there's not much of a price difference because it takes the same amount of work and it's just the difference between the cost of an eight foot rail and a six foot rail. But uh, let's look at some of the other projects that um, Sean did. This is here at, the, uh, at my store, No Maintenance Sex in Long Island, New York. This is a beautiful round pergola with a, uh, with a, a fire pit. Fire pit. Yes. No. And it's, we didn't have a lot of space, so we made it 12 foot in diameter, th therefore we have a 6 foot radius. And Sean, tell us some of the problems that we had with that. Well, see, the problem is we were trying to bend the material at a tight radius. Uh, the inside wants to constrict and the outside wants to stretch, and what it does is it causes the material to buckle like this. And uh, there's not much I can do about that because it's the width of the decking causing the problem. Yeah. If it was narrower, I could, I could bend it tighter. Yeah, you can see that the outside of this deck board stretches and the inside compresses. So when you're going past a certain threshold, which we found to be about 8 foot, now we've done some at 7 foot, and this particular one we tried it at 6 foot and it didn't work. So there's it's hard to do, and now the railings are narrower, so you can bend them a little bit more, but uh, here's what we found when we did one on that round pergola. These were made... Yeah, this didn't crack until about two months after it was installed. Yeah, because there's a lot of pressure on it. It's, it's, stretching the, it's stretching the outside of the radius and compressing the inside of the radius, and it just ended up breaking at the weak point, which is right here at the corners. And here's, uh, here's our treehouse that uh, we made over at our uh, showroom, and it looks pretty nice. So we just yeah, like that, that's why that's why I sleep when my wife throws me out. Yeah, that's that's that certainly <laughs> is a common occurrence. <laughs> All right, that's about it, and uh, it's a great part. It's going to really make your job of putting curved corners on your deck less expensive, certainly less time consuming. If you're a contractor, it's going to save you a day just in labor because you won't have to come back, bring your tools, leave another job, schedule it, make the templates. It just makes your everything. You can, you can get in, get out, get it done. Yeah, and that's, uh, 
and we know in deck building it's all about labor and materials and this and we want to cut down the labor so we're doing we're taking away all the thinking and away taking the taking the guesswork out of it okay. and making it very contractor friendly all right Sean did a great job on that and uh, thanks Mike yeah and I'm sure we'll see you again soon uh, definitely definitely take right. care yeah bye